This pilotless drone is collecting climate data in remote Antarctica. Scientists are testing these new aerial vehicles as they look for more efficient ways to study the frozen continent. The unmanned wind racer drone has already flown hundreds of miles, capturing information that could help us understand how Antarctica is affected by climate change. Using airborne platforms is a really, really efficient way to collect data because you can cover large areas. Tom Jordan is an aerogeophysicist with the British Antarctic Survey. He says the new technology can be incorporated with research on the ground. So by bringing those two things, those ground observations and the airborne survey together, you can get the, the full picture of, of what you need to understand the environment and the ecosystem down here. The Wind Racer's Ultra UAV, or unmanned aerial vehicle, is designed for extreme environments like Antarctica. So what can this aircraft do? Tom Jordan explains. So specifically, we've got uh, camera systems on uh, for environmental sensing. So we can take photographs and hyperspectral imagery to study the ecology of some of the islands out in the bay behind me. Then we've got gravity and magnetic sensors. And we use these to look at the geology of the rocks underneath the water and underneath the ice. And that's really important for understanding how the ice might flow in, in the future. And then finally, we've got a radar system that we're going to be testing. Uh, and this would uh, let us or will let us see through the ice uh, so we can study the shape of the landscape buried beneath the ice. The Wind Racer's drone was developed as part of a pilot program aimed at demonstrating how advanced drone technology can be used to gather environmental data in Antarctica. Scientists hope it can provide more knowledge on how humans are affecting nature. We are studying the environment, we are trying to understand how it's changing and how humans are impacting the environment. And therefore, we have this real understanding of how we're impacting the environment. And we are very definitely always trying to minimize our impact. And uh, we have a lot of rules and processes in place to ensure that our environmental impact is absolutely uh, minimal.